A major search and rescue effort is underway off the coast of Southern California, where a fire broke out on a dive boat that was anchored off the coast of Santa Cruz Island. And the Coast Guard says at least 39 people were on board and only five have been rescued. Authorities also said that there are numerous fatalities. I want to get to CNN correspondent Nick Watt. Uh, you're there in Oxnard, where a Coast Guard presser uh, just wrapped up. What can you tell us? Well, as you say, Brianna, they say that they are still in so-called response posture, which basically means that they are right now combing the shore of Santa Cruz Island looking for any survivors. This boat caught on fire, sank just about 20 yards from that shore in about 64 feet of water, we're told. As you mentioned, five people have been rescued. Let's take a little bit of sound from that Coast Guard to find out a bit more about those five people. The crew was actually already awake and on the bridge and they jumped off. It's a rescue vessel. Those were not crew members. It's a good Samaritan. What we call a good Samaritan is a person that offered their services to help. So what we know is that about 3.30 this morning, Pacific time, the Coast Guard, Coast Guard got a call that there was a major fire on a boat. No more detail than that. As you just heard, the five crew members were awake. They were upstairs. They managed to jump off the boat and were brought back. We saw them coming ashore. One person on a stretcher taken to the hospital. One other person with what looked like a sore ankle, a hurt ankle. Two others in T-shirts and shorts, no shoes, bewildered as you would expect and shocked as they were being brought ashore. But Brianna, this is now seven hours since this incident and we cannot stress this enough. 34 people, 34 of the 39 on board are still unaccounted for at this hour. Did they say anything about how they were going to be investigating this or what limitations they may have because of the condition of the ship? As you mentioned, it, it sunk, it, it burned down to the water line, the conception did. Yeah. Yeah, and listen, that was a major problem in the rescue effort as well. We heard from the Coast Guard earlier this morning. They were saying that they would put the fire out and it would reignite. The Coast Guard told us perhaps that was because of the amount of fuel on board. They did not know. But that meant that rescue personnel could not even get on board that boat. We're told that they are right now working with the owner of the vessel and the National Transportation Safety Board is on its way right now. But that is for further down the line. Right now, as I say, they are still trying to find any more survivors and there are 34 people still unaccounted for 20 miles off the mainland coast here in california just off santa cruz island this was a dive boat this had left santa barbara saturday morning 39 on board 34 we still don't know back to you all right, Nick Watt, thank you so much. And for more on this, let's talk now to Petty Officer Mark Barney with the U.S. Coast Guard. Um, sir, what can you tell us about the current search and rescue operation? Good morning, ma'am. So right now, uh, like Captain Rochester stated, that this is still a very much a very active search and rescue case. Uh, so we are combing uh, the shoreline. We have... Uh, vessels, two vessels from Coast Guard Station Channel Islands Harbor. We have Coast Guard helicopter air crews, so we are throwing everything that we have in the nearby area to search for these missing 34 people. How far is it uh, approximately from where the conception was moored to the coastline of Santa Cruz Island where you're going to be looking to see if, if maybe there's other folks you can account for? Um, unfortunately, I, I don't have those details with me right now, um, but what I can tell you is that we are saturating the area, the nearby area where the, the commercial vessel Conception was through the air and through the sea, and we are doing everything that we can to not only uh, respond effectively to this case, but also to communicate with the families of the passengers and the crew aboard the vessel so that they're informed, they're kept up to date on what's going on. And what kind of injuries are crew members, uh, what, what kind of injuries did they turn up with? Did they have injuries, burn injuries? From my understanding of the five people who were able to evacuate off uh, the conception, two of them sustained leg injuries. I don't have any information as far regarding to any burns or anything like that. Have they said anything about how quickly this started. I mean, they were awake and had to jump off of uh, the boat. And it seems at this point that they're 
were many people who did not have the, the luxury of time to do that, and they were not able to do so. And, and we understand that. Um, it, it's, right now, since it's an active search and rescue case, we don't have a lot of the information to how the fire started, uh, when it started, how long it was engulfed before uh, uh, responders got on scene. Well, our primary focus right now is just getting as many people as we can to the area to comb those waters to make sure we can find someone, anything, any sign of life so that we can bring them home to their family. That is our utmost concern right now. Are you getting the cooperation you need from Truth Aquatics, which owns this dive boat? So right now we are, we are in coordination with the people who are directly involved, the interested parties, as well as our partner agencies, the Santa Barbara Fire Department, Ontario County Fire Department, uh, Vessel Assist, the Coast Guard, and any other local responder who's available to get on scene because we, it's a lot of people, 34 people are still unaccounted for. That's yeah. 34 families that we have to contact to let them know to update. So a lot of the information isn't coming out as fast mm -hmm. as, as many people would like it, but yeah. we are doing our best to ensure that the families are notified first, that they're notified yeah. so that they don't find out information over, over the news. Understandably so. All right, sir. Petty Officer Mark Barney, thank you so much.